Hey everybody, welcome to Mocha Love Zero. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, how you doing? I'm Mocha. Um, I would like to like, uh, thank everyone for the like, shares, and subscribe. I'm outside hugging trees and shit. So I decided, you know what, I always come with the real ass randoms, but this time I'm going to do my real ass randoms real ass randomly. I ain't telling no damn body. How about that? So this is from now, um, the 24th until when we got six, seven more days to the 31st of May. I'm going to do it elementally. So this is for all signs, air, uh, fire, earth, and water, okay? It's windy as hell. It feels great out here. This sun got my energy popping, and so I decided I'm coming to my people. I got to do a check-in. So let's get it. Please, pretty please, can someone please timestamp? These are general. It's not personal. If you need a personal, if I'm resonating with someone and you need a personal, please hit me up. Uh, well, that information can be found in the description and hit me up. I'm not totally 100% booked for the rest of the month. I do have a lot of openings. So hit me up, right? So let's get into it. This is for shoot Gemini Libra Aquarius my air signs are first air Gemini Libra Aquarius spirit what do you have for my air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius what do you have for my air signs from now to me oh to me oh so y'all yeah, it's windy I'm trying to save God save grace save <laughs> Gemini Libra Aquarius what do you have for my Gemini Libra Aquarius, my air signs, okay? Right, a lot of y'all got y'all soulmate in the building. Possibly after leaving somebody out in the cold or someone leaving you out in the cold, a lot of y'all are going to be meeting y'all soulmate. Some of y'all drink too damn much. Some of y'all are drinking too much because somebody left y'all out in the cold. Could have been a water sign or an earth sign. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Whoa. Yeah, it could have been to, due to a three-party situation, or this was someone, some of y'all could have actually, could actually be getting engaged <laughs> after coming out of the cold, possibly with an air sign, I'm sorry, with a water sign or an earth sign, strong emphasis on the water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or maybe this is the intention of the person that you're dealing with, um, what is the outcome for my air signs from now to the end of the month? May, whoa, 2018, yeah, a lot of y'all, some of y'all could have actually, I feel like this, I feel like I'm talking to some drinkers in the building with my air signs, Gemini Libra Aquarius, I feel like a lot of y'all are drinking too much, due to possibly finding out about a third party situation from somebody who left you out in the cold, okay, I feel like some of y'all are trying to hold on to the situation, but what you don't know is that it's beauty on the other side, this had to happen. It's time for the karmics to get the fuck gone because it's soulmate twin flame season. What is you waiting on? For what? Let that toxic shit go. Okay, honey? Let's rock. Some of y'all could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Or water sign. I feel like some of y'all could have walked away from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They put you in a three-party situation with a water sign, and I feel like some of y'all didn't meet a water sign as well. Or this could be in the charts, okay? So y'all let me know how this resonates, and that's what I got for my air signs. Let's get it. Fire! From the 24th to the 31st of May. <laughs> Alright, Spirit, what do you have for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. From now, can they expect Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Alright, somebody stalking somebody. If somebody finna come in with some truth. You may not like how it's coming, fire signs, but somebody gotta say it, right? Somebody getting cut off as well. Oh, here say take them. Oh shit. Woo, it's deep here. It's deep, but spirits say take them. I was gonna say it was too many. Spirits say no, nah, that ain't what I said. Okay, I feel like some of y'all are stalking somebody possibly. Who you, who you, definitely, you definitely know this person from your past, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all fire signs are coming out of a meditative state. Some of y'all are starting to look back at your past and realize, you know, I thought the grass was green on the other side just to get over there and find out that they got some fake ass grass over there. So, what am I going to do? So, a lot of y'all are in a meditative state. It will be from now to the 31st, okay? Some of y'all are trying to go back, back and revisit the past. And get clarity on things that you needed more information on, okay? I feel like some of y'all emotionally, in it, how can I put this? I feel like emotionally, your head says, fuck that, I'm done with it, okay? I feel like emotionally, your heart is saying, you know, no, I, I, I need this fucking clarity so that I can move forward. And for some of us, this is a huge 
blockage, okay? But there will be clarity given, okay? You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio within the building. Uh, you could be dealing with an air sign. You could have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, stalking you. The divine is calling for you to have strength in the situation. Have strength in walking away if it is walking away. Have strength in your reconciliation if it is reconciled, if it is reconciling. Some of y'all could be getting this clarity from a Leo as well or giving this clarity to a Leo. Um, I do see with some of y'all, yeah, strong emphasis on the Leo. Or some of y'all could also be dealing with an Aquarius as well. That, that could be the air sign that's communicating or stalking the shit out of you. You could have an Aquarius stalking you or you're doing this fire signs to an Aquarius. But for the most part, I feel like if y'all have strength in the situation, just let the blockage go and literally just not be so much in your head but on your damn feet and trust your intuition. Clarity's coming. You're going to walk away from a lesson and walk right into your blessing. What is you waiting for? Get to walking. The fuck? Let's get it. Earth. Capricorn. Virgo. Taurus. Spirit, what do you have for my earth signs from now the 24th until the 31st of May? Earth. Capricorn. Virgo. Oh, Taurus. Y'all busting out the gate like that? Okay. Y'all are having tower moments currently. Okay. Y'all could be having tower moments possibly with the cancer. Okay. Some of y'all are having tower moments with an Aries. Some of y'all are going into new karmic cycles with Aries, okay? Some of y'all are dealing, having tower moments with your karmic soulmate, and it's, again, it's soulmate twin flame season. It's time for them to get the fuck gone, honey. But you have not learned the lesson. You want your heart to keep getting broke. You ain't motherfucking tired yet. It's time to dip. If a person has dipped, know that they have blessed you. Do a little dance. Stop crying and shit. Okay, some of y'all... This, some of y'all, this could be happening, this time moment could be happening regarding messages that you're going to be receiving regarding or about a fire sign, strong emphasis on uh, Sagittarius, but it could also be a Leo or Aries as well. I feel like if you've been dealing with the fire sign, you have, you've you been going through a karmic cycle with this fire sign. Um, for some of y'all, if you've had a toxic uh, past with them in the past, so pretty much if y'all been arguing and fighting, but this is for people who live together in couples, okay? If y'all been arguing, not knowing how to communicate, you know, possibly because of lies, deception, you know, they're needing to be balanced in the relationship, this person being non-committal or you being non-committal, y'all going out, everybody like cake, everybody want to have their cake, eat too, y'all a bunch of damn diabetics. This is what is going on for y'all. This is what's going on. I feel like y'all are walking out of a cycle into a new one, okay? So I feel like balance is going to be restored to the situation. However, that communication needs to be had regarding the issues that they, that, that could be out. So I'm on just simply communication, but I feel like there's going to be news and information that you find out Virgo towards Capricorn regarding a fire sign that's going to completely, if you haven't walked away, this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. And if y'all need me, hit me up. I love y'all, and I really send y'all much light and love and many blessings, okay? And uh, just trust the process, okay? That's what I feel to tell my earth signs. Trust the process. Um, if you're dealing with a fire sign, maybe you've been waiting on this fire sign. Maybe there's a cycle that has to be closed out here. If you're dealing with a fire sign, this could be external to you and with them as well, okay? You will be, or this fire sign that you're dealing with could be getting information, uh, possibly from their past. They could have possibly not closed out cycles with their karmics as well, or this could be you. Okay, but there is going to be information in the tower moment regarding the fire sign. Aries Hill Sag. All right, let's get it. That's what I have for my earth. We rocking water. Don't drown me, baby. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Sun, Moon, and Risings. Spirit, what do you have from now the 24th to the 31st? My Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with Aries Hill Sag, King of Wands, and they coming through as a king. So some of y'all are. Finally dealing with your fire signs. Who's actually ready to give you that commitment that you want back from their ass? Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's just hope the thing come in the thought box, all right? Some of y'all are turning y'all back on away from the past, or this could be the person. A lot of fire in y'all reading, okay? Some of y'all are actually dealing with someone who is possibly turning their back away from a toxic toxic behavior in the past, okay? I feel like some of y'all are waiting for y'all ships to come out in. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, moving from anything, anyone, any place that is toxic and not for your better good. Some of y'all could be receiving uh, young, playful, loving, passionate communication from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, regarding reuniting, reconciliations, putting our families, putting our family back to together, okay? 
For some of y'all, this is beautiful water sign. This makes y'all very happy. If some of y'all are thinking about communicating possibly to a fire sign and coming out of a toxic phase um, that neither one of you or this fire sign was growing from. I feel like this could be someone who you have a kid with or a family with this person. This is definitely a soulmate relationship. Um, some of y'all are going to definitely be receiving or giving communication, but it's definitely a lot of fire up in here. And this is somebody who you could have had a toxic past with. We're moving into new phases. Again, this is this is, this is your twin flame and your soulmate. And you're wondering, are they coming back? Is it? Yes, boo. They're on the way to you. And they coming back? They're going to probably want to put that thing on you. Okay? Let me tell you. Pisces, because you know I'm really talking to the Pisces, because y'all interesting, okay? Don't have these people calling me later for a personal reading going crazy, because you just said on, you just said on it, spent on it backwards, and then got up and was like, uh, uh, we, I just still want to be mad. Don't do that shit, okay? Don't do that shit. Y'all crazy. I got to tell y'all, cause y'all crazy. Hold up, my phone ringing. People so disrespectful. Hold on. What is the devil? Okay, I know, and half of these people be seeing me on YouTube. That's the crazy part. This time I'm uploading, so they ain't see me, but still, they know what I do. The fuck? But yes, uh, water signs, it's a lot of fire. Y'all gonna be making some hot lava, some steam. What other shit with fire and water? Volcanoes and shit. Mm hmm. Y'all don't, y'all wrap it up, cause. No babies is in the building. <laughs> oh boy. Some of y'all might be finding out about that too. Congratulations. <laughs> Overall message for everyone at the bottom of the deck. Victory! So you're going through your bullshit to get your victory. The six of wands. Yes. Look like she's standing up there with the kids saying, Yes, honey, I have arrived. Yes. Victory. So just know. If you lost something, you gonna get something better. You ain't lost nothing but a damn headache, okay? What you gained though, especially for my fire. Ironically, look at this shit back to back. I, I can't make this shit up. Victory was this card, right? Everybody gets victory, right? What y'all getting is standing into y'all power, like the Queen of Wands up under the victorious card, <laughs> the King of Cups <laughs> under the victory card. <laughs> The Knight of Cups, some of y'all are coming in and actually telling somebody, hey, I want to stop being your friend. I want to be your lover. I want to be your man. I want to be your boo. I want to be your woman. Okay? I want to put this on you. Y'all telling somebody that. And the High Priestess. So, the High Priestess knows everything under the sun. She knows everything that the eye can't see. It's about you trusting your own intuition. And for some of y'all, making a goddamn decision, okay? Don't sit there and look at these ugly ass birds when you know you got shit to do. Alright? I love y'all collective. Again, this was these were general. If you need a personal, hit me up. I'm available. All of that information can be found. Look. Below. And I'm finna go hug some trees. Bye boos. It's been real. <laughs>